the most popular lenses in the micro four thirds range for wide angle photography is the 7 to 14 Pro lens. Absolutely ideal for architecture, for example, church interiors and some landscapes. However, that Pro lens costs more than £1,000. And if that is too much of an outlay, then one should consider the alternative, the 9 to 18 costing less than half the price of the Pro lens. Now this particular model I purchased some years ago. It is not micro four thirds, it is four thirds. However, I can still use it on my EM1 micro four thirds camera with the help of the MMF2 adapter. Once attached, it will work perfectly well with my EM1 camera. And I'd now like to show you some of the results. Adobe Lightroom has an excellent cataloging facility, especially if you are prepared to spend a bit more time naming where each image was taken. However, Whenever images are added to the catalog, the camera metadata is transferred, making it possible to isolate images taken with a particular camera or lens, even at a certain aperture or shutter speed. Therefore, it is simple to shortlist the required images as here for the 9 to 18 wide angle lens. I am not a fan of the 9 to 18 in landscapes. It is better suited to architecture, especially interiors. Recently, we had our kitchen improved, and before we put the utensils back, I took a couple of record shots for which it was admirably suited. Whilst the perspective can be exciting or dramatic in landscapes, anything far away is reduced to a meaningless bump. Put something like a boatyard in the foreground that takes over the composition and everything suddenly falls into place. A big city such as London works well, provided the composition features a strong foreground. At 9mm you have excellent depth of field, increased by using factor 11 and micro four thirds technology, so getting everything sharp is easy. From Bermondsey I took the tube to North Greenwich, home to the Millennium Dome, which offers a number of architectural features, not least the underground station itself. In my specialist field, church interiors come into their own, particularly if they have a unique architectural style. St. Chad's at Shrewsbury falls into that category, the 9 to 11 proving essential for capturing its unique circular design. Notice too that depth of field is surprisingly good at F4, something that Micro Four Thirds achieve better than many other formats. I had a field day at Cartmel Priory in Cumbria. It survived the Reformation almost intact, the trick being that at the time it also served the local parish. One of its glories is the Jacobean screen, which I have shot at an angle or included as foreground interest to the view beyond. Although the building is large and airy, in more confined quarters, particularly around the choir, the exposure could be anything from a twentieth of a second right down to a half, but I kept the ISO at 200 for quality and commercial considerations. These shots are all handheld, sharpness courtesy of the camera's superior image stabilizer. There is no additional stabilizer in the lens. Depth of field could have been restricted at wide aperture, but 
micro four thirds and the optic set at nine millimeters save the day. Including a window was a severe test for exposure. Balancing the dark interior with a much brighter window was challenging. I spot metered near the window, lightening the interior in Lightroom. The file, of course, first saved to RAW. Noise can be an issue, and I didn't escape it entirely, but I think this one, I hope, looks okay.